Now the next one is crystal oscillator. This is again a high frequency oscillator. Because if you consider the crystal oscillator, its equivalent circuit consists of a inductance and capacitor. This is just like a LCR series circuit. So this crystal, quartz crystal. So quartz crystal is placed between two metal plates. You might have heard about the piezoelectric effect. The crystal usually has the frequency in the range of megahertz. And this works as EL. So instead of using EL, in Corpitz oscillator, we substitute that L by crystal. It behaves as an inductor in this circuit. Then this is a split capacitors we are using C1 and C2. So this forms a tank circuit, C1, C2 and calls crystal forms a tank circuit which produces electrical oscillations. And these electrical oscillations are part of the electrical oscillations developed across C2, they are fed back to the base of the transistor or input of the transistor. And then this single stage transistor amplifier will amplify those small voltage that appear at the collector of the transistor and then that energy is used to again charge the capacitor C1 and C2. Here again, the phase is like this, point P is positive and point Q is negative. This is because the central points of these two capacitors, C1 and C2, is grounded. Due to this ground, if we measure the voltage with respect to ground of point P, you find the phase is positive and on the downside you find the phase is negative. So there is a phase difference of 180 degree between point P and Q. And when this voltage at developed across C2 is given back to the base of the transistor, the transistor produces a phase difference of 180 degree. So total phase difference produced in this loop is 360 degree or 0 degree. And thus there exists a positive feedback which is the requirement of oscillator. At the same time, again we have to adjust the fraction of the voltage given back to the input. And the condition is again Barfashian criterion, A beta is equal to 1. When that is satisfied, the circuit starts oscillating and it produces AC voltage. Now in all of the three circuits, we have seen that there is a radio frequency choke. Usually it is again a inductance. Why this is required? This is required to avoid the short circuit of the AC voltage with the battery. If here at the collector we are producing the high frequency oscillations in amplified form. And if there is no inductor or RF choke, what will happen? This AC voltage will go to the battery and it will short. So, to avoid the damage to the battery, you should require a high frequency choke in collector of the transistor. The frequency of oscillation here is also 1 upon 2 pi root LC. C is equal to C1, C2 upon C1 plus C2. So, this formula is same as Colpitz oscillator. So, very easily you can design the oscillator for required frequency. Now, usually in basic timing device in electronic wristwatches, crystal oscillators. So these oscillators are used in these oscillators are used in wristwatches because nowadays we are using the wristwatches uh, working on a cell or a DC voltage. So that make use of the oscillator, which will provide the timing signal. Crystal oscillators can produce frequency greater than 10 megahertz. If you like this video don't forget to subscribe comment and share this video with your friends thank you for watching